tomorrow night we've got something extra special once again. It's the greatest show on ice. This is when the pressure's off and the top five in each get a chance to really do their thing. And we're talking about the top names, the gold medalists. For example, Grichuk and Platov, Philippe Candeloro, who gave us D'Artagnan, Todd Eldridge, Berezhnaya and Sigurdolitsa, Kazakova and Dmitriev. They are all going to be there. And let's not forget Ilya, Ilya Kulik. The greatest show on ice. It's coming your way on 7 from 7.30 Eastern Time tomorrow night. That is going to be spectacular because with the reins let go free, Belinda, and the pressure off, we're going to see stuff that we haven't seen all week. Well, they use vocal music and they have, it's basically like show programs and it's fun for them. Well, I don't know that this is fun, but we're down now to gold medal time. It's going to be fun for our viewers right around Australia and fun for the 8,000 that have packed White Ring. There's uh, Tara Lipinski, just 15 years of age. I'm so looking forward to these six. And first up is a young lady who attributes her confidence and her improvement to her enjoyment of being on the ice. This is Michelle Kwan, the 17-year-old. It's a standing ovation now. Next to me is Elvis Stoiko, and he is standing to applaud that performance. That is Michelle Kwan coming into the free program after leading the short. Have we seen Belinda the gold medal performance? You had a question mark next to the spins. Oh, only because I worried that maybe the spins were under revved only by like one, one rev, which may be a key or a door for Tara Lipinski. But, you know, the magnificence of her performance is, is in its beauty. It's a beautiful program, performed beautifully, and the jumps are beautiful. Here are the Lutz. I know that the jumps are so important. She did two triple Lutzes this one with the toe and the other one by itself and she knew when she got that second one done that she was home and hosed this is the layback all of her positions are exquisite and her feeling emanates right out into the arena and there is spinning one way and now spinning the camel in the other direction and the thing about this is the position is just as excellent on the other foot much harder than it looks i don't think the uh, judges are going to take too long on this somehow no, here's the second triple Lutz. And look at her face and just the whole body language when she finishes it. Right there. Oh, yes. she's so happy. Frank Carroll. And actually, she was asked recently if she, when she was going to turn pro, she said, I might wait till I'm 26. He said, well, if you do, I'll be dead. He's a magnificent five, seven, man, a magnificent five, coach. Eight, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Five, they have to give these five, marks. Seven, they have to leave, five, leave room. Look at that. Five, Just seven, missing five, on the perfect nine, score, but across five, the board, five, five nines. Nine, Michelle Kwan nine, leads. Five, nine, oh, look five, at that little nine, face. It's great. That is great. But it's not over yet. As Belinda said, the door is still open. Butraskaya is still to come. Lipinski is still to come. Here is Butraskaya's teammate. On the ice, Irina Slutskaya. Irina Slutskaya. A smile. And then off she goes. Don't forget, tomorrow night, 7.30 Eastern Time, the greatest show on ice, featuring the greatest nine names. Everyone except Elvis, because he, of course, has that groin injury. But now, Irina, can she get higher than fifth? Free skating to Russian traditional music. take this one tonight and she does with the double toe
fantastic lay back. Actually, Irene is a very good spinner. Butterfly into a back camel. It's another very good spin. combination. <laughs> Terrific speed and control into a double axle. feeling that tonight her coach may be smiling she wasn't a happy camper two nights ago but that's a performance that most certainly should gladden her heart Irina Slutskaya she was the world junior champion back in 95 what a different skater from two nights ago yeah. the speed and the huge jumps and the character on the ice, I thought that the short program was very flat and I thought that she was way over marked, but tonight, fantastic. Triple Lutz, up to the double toe. The triple toe, triple toe later on the program was just enormous. And here's the Salco, triple Salco off the back inside edge, up into the double loop. Here's a triple tie I was talking about. This was so fast across the ice and covered so much space. Look at the run on the blade. And again it happened. Oh, she knew that that was terrific. Spun much better spins tonight than the short program. Butra Sky would be a little bit frightened of that performance, I think, if uh, she's seen it. Because I think that that's definitely in medal contention. And yes, she is smiling. Fifth after the short program. I think a lot of people were perhaps surprised that she the was even in that position. But let's have a look at the technical Second merit three. marks that are going to come up five, first six, now. Can't be unhappy with those. Five, six, and presentation coming. That's going to place her in second spot five, behind uh, Kwan. Five, seven, but of course, five, seven, 
We still have more to come, including Luchen, Sia Bonley, Tata Lipinski, and Maria Butraskaya. And don't forget on the greatest show on ice tomorrow night, also we'll be featuring Alexi Jagodin, Born and Pratz, Wurzelen Steuer, Berezhnaer and Sigalitsa. It's going to be showtime tomorrow night on 7 at 7.30 Eastern Time. The greatest show on ice. But right now, let's move on. Former world champion, just 21 years of age, a bronze medalist in Lillehammer in 94. This is Lu Chen, free skating to the music Butterfly Lovers. for Chen really because she's been so out of form over the last 12 months to get the looks done and then nearly the flip. Fantastic use of the music. say to that that is a mighty comeback from Lu Chen the former world champion 
Her third games, six in 92, a bronze medalist in 94, made her first triple jump, would you believe, at the age of nine. She's now 21. This has been so hard for her. Your heart has to go Look out for her. She was pulled back to China when she wanted to stay and train in California, had troubles with a coach, she was, had troubles with a federation. She was injured, she grew, she had all sorts of problems. The training here has been mixed. To have come out with a performance like this is just marvellous stuff. Got to be knocking on the door of a medal. It's a story, it's a, the program is a story of Chinese lovers and it doesn't end well, but, but, but I think for Lu Chen tonight that it may do. And she's given it her heart and soul and she knows it and really, really overcome so many adversities. A few minor problems in the program, but to have made these jumps, she's been having trouble with for a year after a big growth spurt and injury. Here's the triple Lutz up to the double toe. Got that double toe on it so she'd be able to repeat the Lutz later on in the program. Triple loop watching a practice. Watch for the foot on the landing. See if it gets all the way to backwards. That's been the trouble. And this is the triple toe, triple toe combination. First one was very good. Second one just couldn't get around enough. Just clarifying the situation at the moment. Michelle Kwan leads and if you've missed it, uh, Joanne Carter looks as though she will finish in 12th spot. We know Joe will finish in 12th spot because there's only three skaters left to skate. And at ninth at the moment, sitting at ninth in the moment with only three left to skate, she just can't be any less than 12th. So what a result for Joe Carter. That is one emotional young lady. Places her in second spot behind Quan. So it goes Quan, Chen, Slutskaya. Well done, Lu Chen. Here's another very interesting story. This 24-year-old from France finished sixth in the short program. Her name is Saria Bonnelly. She was adopted at a very young age and is now getting ready to skate for her country. Well done, Saria Bonnelly. <laughs> if she is saying farewell, she's saying it in style. I wonder if her mother knows about that because she's a coach, Susan. Oh, I think maybe Suzanne might be the orchestrator of, <laughs> of that. She's felt, they've both felt that Surya has had um, hard, harsh treatment from the judges over the last eight, eight years or so of her senior international career. Been European champion, I think as high as third in the worlds. Always very controversial because she was a very good triple jumper. And we can see all the straight lines in the skates here going into the, the triple jumps. And that looks like an awkward technique. And too far back on the skate on the landing of that triple Salco. So, again, an unorthodox air position, and that landed actually forwards, and the foot flipped around to backwards, so she's on her feet. And here is the backflip. Look at this. In layout position. I think the greatest show on ice has started early. Well, we're going to hope she's got to come into fourth or fifth, so we'll <laughs> see her. <laughs> Yes, it's the top five competing in that greatest show on ice. Very popular in shows and, and tours, and I think that she'll have a really fun career ahead of her because people like to see that style of skating. Hello, everybody. Hi, Barry. Hi, Julie. Hello, Papa. Bonjour, Paul Union. Bonjour, Didier. Hi, everybody at Iceworks. Have you forgotten anyone? Hi, Stefan. <laughs> 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 Judges are busy looking up the rule book. Not impressed. The judges cranking the boys and said no, it's not on. 
That leaves her in eighth position. Now, what that means now is that two skaters stand between Michelle Kwan and a gold medal. Tara Lipinski and Maria Butlerskaya. Can Lu Chen take a medal? A question will be answered as these two come to the ice and we'll be with them no breaks here on seven here she is the smiling 15 year old who has captured the hearts of so many not only in america but around the world oh, i just wonder has a gold medal slipped out of the fingers of michelle kwan tara lipinski is wrapped she was 14 when she won the u.s and world championships last year now she's just 15 and maybe has one hand on a gold medal. It was a masterful event for the short program. And this is just unbelievable. Triple loop, triple loop combination, two triple lutzes, a triple flip, triple toe, half loop, triple salco. It was technically the most difficult program we've seen so far. She creates a very joyous feeling in her skating that emanates through the entire build. And here's the one we're all waiting to see. A triple-triple combination from a 15-year-old and the most difficult one. Triple loop, triple loop, right to backwards. And the finish. Just... She must be able to believe it because she's actually done it before. Ah. Is it going to be good enough? to get in front of Kwan. Is it going to be good enough that we'll see our first six, our first perfect score for the night? Richard Callahan, her coach on the right, with the four smiles. Become the marks first for technical merit. Of course, they hire. She's done more. Yes. What are the presentation marks going to be? The American judge. 5-8, so to the German, but what about presentation? Have we got the perfect score? Look at this. No, but it puts her in front. Look at this. <laughs> Lipinski leads Kwan. She cannot believe it. But hang on, Tara, there's still one to come. On the ice, representing Russia, Maria. Well now, Maria Butraskaya, having a slight problem with the right skate, finished the short program in third place. What is the best she can do? What is the absolute best? Uh, like Michelle Kwan, she brings a real elegance and maturity to the ice she will have to land absolutely everything probably even to take the bronze medal it i don't know who it's going to be and of course lu chen is sitting there with a really moving performance as well so many stories are there to come out of this night lu chen michelle kwan tara lipinski currently leading the russians have dominated and it's now all left up to this 25 year old the russian and european champion of this year maria butroskaya
double toe. Is it going to be good enough to sneak in front of Lu Chen? That is Maria Butraska. It's amazing, isn't it? She's 10 years older than Tata Lipinski, who is leading the race for gold. And this is her first games, like Tara. And so many times, so many world championships or Europeans been fourth, fourth in uh, worlds and fourth in Europeans and those sorts of results. And wondering if that may happen to her here today. Although this year, Russian champion again, and finally, European champion. I felt that this performance was pushed or a little bit laboured, that she had to make it work rather than it flowing. Probably striving a little bit. I just felt that the skates weren't moving underneath her very comfortably. Well, one thing we can say is that the Rus Russian juggernaut has been slowed. They dominated in the first week and a half, but tonight it's going to be the Americans. And that's the uh, the first jump. Almost looked like she two-footed that, but it didn't look like that to the naked eye. So that may be how the judges will see it. Here's the flip, textbook takeoff. Arms coming unstuck at the end and a very stiff knee to, to land on. But determination and experience pulled these jumps through. Just these jumps unravelling at the very end where she just wasn't comfortable. Can she get in front of Lu Chen, or is it going to be a fairy tale for Chen? Well, Maria didn't actually make any mistakes, but Lu Chen, I thought, was more beautiful. Yes, give it to Lu, I think. Now for presentation. This is all important. That's going to finish her out of the medal. She's going to finish fourth. Lu Chen is going to get the bronze medal. Oh, good for Lu Chen. That is a wonderful story. What a night. <laughs> so, as the roar goes up, it is now official that Tara Lipinski, the 15-year-old, has won the gold medal from Michelle Kwan. And third, Lu Chen of China. Butruska is fourth. Slutska is fifth. So the Russians out of the medals, but fourth and fifth. Guzmaroli, the French girl, is in sixth place. Sokolova, the third of the Russians, is in seventh. So they've still had a, a very good effort team-wise. Three in the top seven. There you can see the results now. There's the top six. And let's not forget Joanne Carter who performed so well and has finished in the top 12. Here she is, there's Joe, 11th after the short program. Just a couple of little glitches tonight, but still a wonderful achievement to finish in top 12. Fantastic performance by Joe to finish 12th place in her first Olympic Games and only really her second, well, coming into her second year in senior international yeah. competition. So the future for her is very bright and I think she'll figure out this game and beat it. There's the top 24 as they are. And uh, I guess we've got to think of Richard Callahan too, who came here with Todd Eldridge and many thought may take the men's and 
little Tara, the doll. Tara Lipinski, uh, well, he's finally struck pay dirt, but here is Lu Chen. We look at bronze, silver, and gold. This is going to be some story to come out of the Olympics for this girl. If anybody had said to me three days ago that Lu Chen would take a medal here, I would have really taken any money against it. But what a performance and must have the heart of a real champion. And Michelle Kwan. This is class on ice. <sighs> I really felt this performance. I really liked it, although you have to give it to Tara Lipinski. Michelle Kwan's not as fast across the ice and didn't do the triple, triple jumps, but a beautiful performance. And finally gold for Tiny Tara. Oh. She is like a doll, isn't she? A doll on ice. From Sugarland, Texas, and she's going to have a fairy tale life. A wonderful achievement. Gold at 15 years of age. She's going to be smiling now for days and days and days. And she knows she's got the gold right there. We've got the presentation coming up, but first, let's hear from the gold medalist, Pat. Pat. Tara, congratulations. 15 years of age, US champion, world champion, and now Olympic champion. Can you believe it? I can't. Right now, I'm in shock, and I can't even realize everything that's going to happen to me and how proud of myself I am. You've just enjoyed this whole Olympic experience. You, you stayed in the village. I saw you up there signing autographs for the local fans the other night for an hour and a half. Yeah, I feel, you know, doing that, I always feel like I'm giving back something and, you know, I'm skating well and, I, and they, they're excited to see me and I think just the whole Olympic experience has been great. And Were you nervous? Yeah, definitely. I was under a lot of pressure, but um, I went out there and I just, you know, showed everyone this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it. Congratulations. Thank the you. world's press is waiting here and we're going to take a break, but as much excitement down here, Sandy. It's absolutely fantastic. Yes, a wonderful performance, and now we are meeting the medalists. Lipinski is out. Kwan is out. And the bronze medalist is Lu Chen. What a comeback. What a comeback. One of the stories of these games. Medals and flower presenters are now entering. Medal presentation about to take place and the officials coming out onto the ice. So Quita is IOC representative of Italy. Claire Ferguson, who's another IOC representative, will be presenting the flowers. to imagine someone that tiny winning a gold medal. Deuxième place, médaille d'argent, Michel Kwan, Etats-Unis d'Amérique. In second place, the silver medalist, Michel Kwan, from the United States of America. Daini, silver medalist, Michel Kwan, America. 
Troisième place, médaille de bronze, Lu Chen Shin. In third place, the bronze medalist, Lu Chen from China. Dai Tai, bronze medalist, Chen Lu Chen, Les médailles seront remises par Monsieur Octavio Cinquanta, membre du CIO en Italie. The medals will be presented by Mr. Octavio Cinquanta, IOC member in Italy. Italia IOC Ottavio Cinquanta さんより、メダルが贈呈されます。Ottavio Cinquanta presenting now the medals and the race, the medal race between Canada and the United States now pots up again. Canadians who missed a gold medal opportunity today in ice hockey are having such a running battle with the Americans who will pick one up tonight. The arch rivals at it again. The beaming smile of Tara. And now Michelle Kwan. This is an amazing one. Les bouquets seront remis par Madame Claire Ferguson, membre du Conseil de l'ISU. The flower bouquet will be presented by Mrs. Claire Ferguson, ISU Council Member. Claire Ferguson now. Presenting the flowers, she's on the ISC Council. Prior to this position, she was president of the USA Skating Association. Can't help but be moved by this. Sea of flashlights. En l'honneur des vainqueurs, le drapeau de la délégation du vainqueur va être levé et l'hymne de la délégation du vainqueur va être joué. Veuillez vous lever, retirer votre chapeau et vous concentrer vers la direction du drapeau. Ladies and gentlemen. Please stand for the raising of the flags of the winners' delegations and the anthem of the gold medal winners' delegation. How do you feel? Oh, a bit emotional. It's like it's very teary just watching these girls who just poured their hearts and souls out onto the ice and with such magnificent performances. All so so good. I feel very happy for them, but it's 
I cried every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, no, it's fantastic. So now the uh, press photographers will have an absolute field day. The tears are gone. They've been replaced by smiles. Bruce, it has been an unforgettable night here at White Ring. Great calling, Sandy. You and Belinda, both of you. A terrific job. You're not quite finished with the exhibition tomorrow, but uh, a job so well done. And uh, this is a fantastic scene, isn't it? Three champions yeah. together. And what a champion Michelle Kwan proved to be with oh, her yeah. congratulations of Tara Lipinski. Just all three class. They just all have gold medal personalities, mm, don't they? Exactly right. Exactly right. It is so tough for these girls, especially out of USA, the pressure, the media pressure. The three great ones on a night of nights, wasn't it? Lou Chen on the right, Tara Lipinski in the centre, 15 years of age, Michelle Kwan on her right, our left. Gold, silver and bronze. They took the sport to another level tonight. Lipinski surely is going to be one of the greatest names in Olympic history. So much in front of her. Sonia Henney, who won three times in the 20s and 30s, arguably the biggest name figure skating's ever had, Katarina Witt with her two gold medals in the 1980s. And Tara Pinsky now with Lu Chen and Michelle Kwan. Got to feel a bit for Michelle Kwan. As Belinda said, it was just such a beautiful performance. Beauty on ice and uh, Michelle, the silver medalist, joins Pat Welsh. Patty. Bruce, thank you very much. Michelle, it, such was that competition. It was seemed a shame that a silver medal had to be awarded tonight. <laughs> well, I wish there was two gold medals, but there's only one. Um, I, I felt really good about my performance. Um, I don't think I could do any better. I really tried my best. You were just so emotional after it. You knew that you'd, you'd performed your best, didn't you? Well, when I was done, I just couldn't help but cry. I, I just wanted to pinch myself. Is this really true? And. You know, it might not be the colour uh, medal I wanted, but I'll try again. <laughs> what did you and Tara have to say to each other after it was all over? It's been such a tense lead-up, hasn't it? Well, I have to congratulate her because she skated really good, she skated her best, and, you know, I skated my best too, but my best wasn't good enough. Well, you thrilled everyone out there tonight. It was fabulous. Thanks for talking Thank with you. us. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. What a great champion she is. It's the performance at the highest level that counts most, not the position, and for Michelle Kwan, she got such satisfaction out of her performance. OK, the colour mightn't have been the right one, she said, but I think uh, she'll rest easily tonight. And very emotional, and we just saw sport and art mix at its best, but it is a sport, and they acquitted themselves in magnificent fashion. And one of the best stories was Lu Chen, wasn't it? It's... You'd have to spend an hour just special on Lu Chen for everything that she's faced in the last in the last year and a half, in particular with um, arguing between the federation and coaches and then uh, Chinese federation forcing her to uh, hand over money that she makes in America and forcing her back into China and all kinds of those sorts of stories. And a tough time, but mm, she's still got a fantastic. bronze. Fantastic. In fact, let's hear from her now. Here she is with Patty Welsh. Pat. Well, that was. Uh a very tense weight but you're very happy now you've got that medal hanging proudly around your neck <sighs> so happy <laughs> it's been tough for you hasn't it with injuries etc yeah it's so hard i've been trying so hard to come here and compete and um you know I, i'm so proud of myself as i said to you a little earlier when you'd finished your routine you were overcome with emotion and you, it was almost to say that hey i'm back Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tell people I'm back and I'm here. And uh, we can do it. <laughs> what did you think of the competition? This was one of the greats, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a great competition. And, um, you know, it's been tough. And um, I just think, um, you know, it's medal is not very important. Most important is that I skate well and do a good job. You skated well and you've got a bronze medal. Congratulations. Thank you.